Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to GTA San Andreas and our 100% uh, playthrough. <laughs> Couldn't say that then. Uh, where we are going to take on the third Four Dragons mission, which is called You've Had Your Chips. So let's jump straight back in. Let's do this. Let's see what happens. Let's continue the story. This is You've Had Your Chips. Hit me. Are you sure, man? Yeah, I'm going for a five card hand. Come on. Okay. Here. How does he know what's on the cards? I'm a stick. What you got? How would I know? You tell me. <laughs> Not good, man. You got a uh, 47. Damn. You're bad luck for me. You know, when I play the other guys, I always win. <laughs> Boss, take a look at these two chips. One's a fake. That's amazing. You didn't even touch him. No, I just took a guess. Why else would he come in with two chips and sound so worried? You take a look. Oh, yeah, the dragon on this got the sunglasses and a white stick. Insolent bastards! I'll make sure the cashiers are extra vigilant. It's obvious where these chips are coming from. The Sindaco family owns a plastics factory across town. I'm gonna blow it to shit! Man, look, don't trip. I got you on this. Woozy certainly has a temper, doesn't he? It's quite, it's quite a good character, I love him. Right, head toward the factory unit on the outskirts of town, you're going to disturb their operation. Uh, I've still got this car because I was using it to get back from the fourth stadium mission. So let's head over to this plastics factory and cause some trouble, shall we? Yeah, the missions from this point on, some of them are quite tricky, but they're really good. Really good. For, I mean, most of the missions of this game are really good, aren't they? But this is when it really starts kicking into gear with the whole proper story thing, I guess. Or the next phase of the story, I should say, is probably more accurate. So yeah, this is when stuff is really going to start going down. Thank you for crashing into me, random person. And I cannot wait. So yeah, I don't actually remember too much of this mission, if I'm completely honest. Um, from when I used to play it as a kid. I'm not really sure what we're going to be doing, but it will make sense shortly, won't it? Um, have we missed the turning somewhere? No, straight across the right. Whoops! We didn't need that lamppost anyway. It's just in people's ways. Where's that car going? <laughs> so yeah, um, there's going to be some plot twists and things and some links between the other games coming up soon in the story. Hopefully you guys are going to really enjoy it, especially if you've played some of the other GTA games and haven't played this one. That means it's still enjoyable even if you have played this one and know what's going to happen. Because, um... Yeah, the stories are really cool, aren't they, on the GTA games, especially from this era. Right. Mobsters have some guards. Try and get into the factory unnoticed. Uh, I don't remember it being a stealth thing, I'll be honest. Uh, how do we get in unnoticed? Is there a way in? Like an alternative way in? Maybe through here? I honestly don't remember this. Alright, let's see if we can find a way in. Ah, what's this? Can we climb over here? Yeah, okay. Are we in? I think we might be in. Uh, no, we're not. Damn, how are we going to get in here unnoticed? Maybe around this way. Is there a way in? I'm not seeing it if there is. Can't get in through here, can we? No. Hmm, how are we going to get in here? This is a question, isn't it? There's got to be a way in somewhere. Or can we just barge the door down and go in all guns blazing? I guess that's one possible option, isn't it? Looks like there might be two little alleyways in up here, though. Uh, is this a way in? Uh, possibly over this wall? Let's have a look. 
doesn't look like we can get in there, does it? Let's jump over anyway. Wow, I do not remember this at all. I think we're going to have to go in through the main entrance. There's no obvious way in around the back. Ah, we're going to have to go... Ah, oh, hang on, what's this? Ha ha ha! We found it. Okay. Um, there's a car there, and that concerns me, because I w worry that that might be... Hey, who's yep. this character? He looks like a cop to me. We better I'm go not a on cop. The boss. Oh no, he's warned the boss. Well, we need to get in quick. Get and the we're boys in. ready. Production lines gotta keep rolling. Somebody's got a fucking death wish if they're starting trouble around here. Destroy it. Right. I mean, it's not ideal that CJ doesn't put himself in cover, is it really? To start off with. Hello. Huh? Goodbye. Taken a lot of damage already. Uh, we're like glitching out a bit there. Hello. Who's shooting me? No. Come on. Lock onto the guy up there. Jeez. Right. Someone's still shooting. I don't know where they are. Uh, do we have a like a rocket launcher or something on us? We do. Convenient. Uh, someone is still shooting me, and I have no idea where they are. But that'll get rid of that. Right, who is shooting, and where from? Were they up on that balcony? Ah, hello. Stay cool. Right, okay, let's just blow all this crap out of rocket launchers, shall we? Probably the easiest way. Uh, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Take two out in one there. Yeah, nice, okay. I'm pretty low on health. I don't know if there's any health we can get. Uh-oh, reinforcements. Shit. <laughs> okay, so they have brought some reinforcements in. Uh, I don't know if there's guys over here. We've just got to be a little bit careful because of our health. So let's stay... No, oh, you can't crouch and use the rocket launcher. Brilliant. <laughs> right, that's all that. Let's switch back to our gun. Get back in one piece. Yeah, well, that's going to be easier said than done. No. Oh, we are low on health. Whoa. Who shot us, man? Okay, we've done it. Now we've just got to be careful getting the hell out of here. Right, let's make a run for the car. Okay, let's get back to Woozies. Come on. I get the feeling we're probably going to get attacked on the way back, but we might be okay. Let's get back. So we can um, cut through here, I think, can't we? Back to the main road. Uh, not through this bit, actually. Ah, come on. We've got to get back in one piece. We can't die. We do not want to die after all the work we've done. Uh, yeah, here we go. We can cut through here. Back down to the main road. Jeez, that was um, quite intense there. Sorry I wasn't speaking too much. I was trying to concentrate. <laughs> Let's hope we don't get any ambushes on the way home. Um, took a bit longer than I thought to do this mission. Quite a difficult one. Because there's no... As far as I can tell, there's no health anywhere that you can pick up to restore your health. Or any body armour or anything like that. So it means you've got to be really careful you don't get shot by the hordes of gangsters who turn up. So yeah, a lot easier said than done, I think. So it looks like we might be home... or on the home straight. Just got to hope that 
no one comes after us now and get back to woozies in one piece and then we should be okay hopefully all right so let's come off the main road here uh do you want to come off the main road here or the next one next one i think wasn't it yeah it's the next one oh geez it's quite a stressful mission actually quite an intense one Right, let's take the car around the back, go through the little secret garage thing, and we should be fine. Okay, we are out. Who's that? Hey Carl, how'd it go? It went alright, man. We'll be no more trouble with them counterfeit chips. Yeah, no more counterfeit chips. Okay, there we go. Mission passed. Ten thousand dollars and respect as well. Our respect is slowly going up, and that does it for that mission. Um, a lot harder than I thought it was going to be, actually, but we did it. We got there in the end. So let's take a look at our stat screen. We are now up to fifty-five point zero eight percent complete. Very good. I'm happy with that. Um, yeah, not too bad at all. So that is going to do it for this episode. So as always, guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, click on that like button. It really does help the channel to grow, so I do appreciate it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell if you're new, or if you just haven't already done so. And I'll see you all next time.